Hello, it is indeed a beautiful and a lovely day today with a very beautiful weather, I must say. We are back yet again with the show called Limitless. All right, so on the panel today, still with my pretty ladies, um, on my left hand side is... My name is Martha Sakala. All right, my name is Chiesa Mongulove. My name is Amwakan Tanda Mwansar. The and Rockstar. my name is Evelyn Tembo. Right, so we are here yet again uh, with Limitless. And today on the show, we have a very beautiful and interesting topic. It is happening now. It is real. People have taken it as a joke, but hey, we don't know who it is affecting. Today we are talking about cyberbullying. And so we would like you to, you know, stay glued. Let's get to teach one another, learn one or two things from this thing. Mm -hmm. Has it ever happened to you? Is it affecting you? We are here to help you because we also want you to help us. So just highlighting one or two things about cyberbullying before we even get to calling our guest our show is really interesting today because we have a guest who's going to highlight everything like he's super super <clears throat> let me end there so um <laughs> <laughs> all right so martha about cyberbullying mm. what is it all about uh cyberbullying is basically bullying using electronic means oh I talk about electronic um okay. i'll give an example of social media mm -hmm. um just recently Chefi's wife, at uh, wife to be, um, had a kitchen party, right? So she was putting on this pink dress and some pictures of her circulated where she wasn't like ready for pictures and whatnot. So, are you sure she wasn't ready for pictures? She was talking on the phone and then someone takes a picture of her. Maybe it was a pause. No, no, no I don't think so. Yes. So, <laughs> some <coughs> pictures of her circulated where she wasn't really looking good mm -hmm. and caused havoc on social media because everyone was talking about the dress, everyone was talking about how she was looking, everyone was talking about her lips, her hair and things like that. Maybe people had their own opinion, who knows. All right, Evelyn. Okay, just giving another example, mm -hmm. like uh, Chef's wife, um, going back to Yomab's wife. <laughs> yeah. She was posted and everything they posted her and then others would be like, no, makeup and stuff. She she is, she's not pretty and everything. That is another form of cyberbullying of which is not supposed to be taking place. Otherwise, we need to appreciate one another at the end of the day. Okay. Um, about that, I'm not going to say much, but I respect everyone's opinion. In Zambia, we have got freedom of speech. Eh? Yeah. You've been... <laughs> Okay. Freedom of speech on someone's... Uh, mm -mm. Yeah, but Shira. not in what's happening now. It's not okay. It's not good because, uh, you know, you start lowering people's self-esteem, you know. Okay, so I won't talk much because I'm not <clears throat> the one who's going to shed more light about this. Catch us on the other side with our guest. Welcome back to your only show, a youth show, Limitless. And we're still talking about cyberbullying. And like we said earlier, we have a guest, Sandy. He's a student uh, studying in China and he's a choreographer. Interesting. Um, Sandy will help us to give us more light on what we are talking about, which is uh, cyberbullying. So, Sandy. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, okay. Beautiful ladies. So no. like I was introduced, uh, my name is Sandy. Mm -hmm. I'm a choreographer, mm -hmm. mainly in Afro and hip hop dances. So if you guys love dancing, you can come for our classes. We have classes on Friday mm -hmm. and Saturday. Friday is Park Mall and Saturday, um, Le Dolphins Hotel, just opposite East Park. All right, yeah. beautiful. So, Sandy, helping us with uh, the topic under discussion of today, which is cyberbullying, what do you understand, in your own understanding, kindly shed more light on our topic of today? Um, okay, cyberbullying basically, like she earlier said, mm -hmm. is bullying that's electronic, as I understand. Mm -hmm. So by that, I mean, okay, let me break down bullying first. Bullying is simply... Um, people who are emotionally strong, like um, taking advantage of people who are weak, mm -hmm. but that's done online. Mm -hmm. So that's cyberbullying. Right. Yeah. So um, I'll give an example of myself, because I experienced it before, mm -hmm. since I'm a student in China. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I experienced it before when I had a girlfriend who's Chinese. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the girlfriend, you guys. <laughs> 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 My best <to> be Chinese. <laughs> yeah. And apparently, 
um, we took a picture together and uploaded it. Mm -hmm. yep. So there was enough negative comments and all calling black people monkeys and dirty and all that stuff. But apparently for me, I'm not, you know, emotionally weak. So that's like one, one of the things I can like tell the people who are suffering with this stuff. Like you don't have to be emotionally weak because if you're emotionally weak, you let any small thing get to you easily, you know? Okay, so um, do you think um, the bullies, uh, like you said mm -hmm. in your preamble, said um, mostly um, strong people are the ones that prey, prey on weak, weak people. Weak people. Yeah. I think it has to be the other way around because I, um, not, no, we're not disputing mm -hmm. that, yeah. you know? When I, for me, I feel when someone says something bad about you, it actually re reflects who they are. Mm -hmm. So it, it's not always that someone that's strong, you know, is the one that's going to like prey on someone that's weak. Mm -hmm. It's it's just that people have a lot of insecurities, so that is why maybe they try to find someone or something about someone that's going to just bring them down mm -hmm. because when you look at bullying it's not everything that, that they're going to talk about mm -hmm. in your mm -hmm. case mm -hmm. you said you uploaded a picture with your girlfriend mm -hmm. and then they just targeted your skin color okay yeah. so if we were to remove the skin color altogether they would have nothing to like say bad about you True. so yeah. you know it's not always that the bullies are strong people bullies are the weakest people yeah. we alive I rather so. mm -hmm. all right so are there um, is there a way that one can prevent cyberbullying? Mm, I can't generally say there is a mm -hmm. way, but mm -hmm. there are ways mm -hmm. that they can try and actually find a way out of like the isolation that they have. Simply put, um, if somebody is being bullied, okay, let's say online, because we're talking about cyberbullying now, mm -hmm. is being bullied online. Mm -hmm they have that isolation to themselves such that it's hard to just say, boom, okay, yeah, my friend, I come to you and say, friend, right now I'm suffering, this is happening, blah, blah, blah. It's very, very hard mm -hmm. if you are emotionally weak, you know? So first of all, you have to be emotionally strong as a person mm -hmm. to like take a step forward, say, okay, let me talk to somebody first before I can like approach, I don't know if it's therapy sessions or whatsoever, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But there's no, general general solution to the problem where i can say this is what you need to do to avoid being bullied like online you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah so don't you have people that you can report to when they're being bullied online <laughs> okay i wouldn't even want to take this talk to china because that's a foreign country mm -hmm. and in as much as yeah we we receive you know enough negative comments there's racism in general we can want to report to people, but that's not our country. So even, even though we go to our teachers or our, our deans or whatsoever, yeah, they can say, oh, this is what happened. Okay, I'll look into it, and then it's done. Like, that's not our country, you know what I mean? Yeah. But for Zambia, obviously, it's, it's a bit different in the sense that if you're, if you're going through these things as a student, for example, obviously schools have, like, therapy classes and whatsoever. You can talk to somebody. Yeah, those are just a means like to help you. But like for China, it's a bit different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like what, what could be, um, what are some of the effects of cyber, cyber bullying? Mm, mainly it's death. <laughs> it's death. Because mm -hmm. um, I recently saw a post on one of the Chinese like links and all. There's some student in high school who committed suicide simply because there were some girls in her class who didn't like her because she had like a poor family and all. Mm -hmm. So they used to like pass letters around calling her dirty, ugly and what and whatnot. And then one day she like picked up one of the letters and read what the class was saying about her, but she didn't talk to anybody about it. Not teachers, not her family, no one. Mm -hmm. So they just found her dead in her room. She hung herself and she left the letter explaining everything. And that's when they started looking into all this stuff. So like, there's like a lot of effects, you know, but like death is the main, main effect that I think cyberbullying causes.
<laughs> okay, it's really sad that yeah, people die. <laughs> because I'm quite certain some people just take it for granted. They don't really think that they're going to hurt other people. Some who just want to joke around. Sure, sure. Yeah, maybe they're just passing a silly comment so that when people log in and check out whatever they've posted, people are going to laugh. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you are affecting someone. But in as much as you have been affected with cyberbullying, how has it helped you or uh, has it come with such kind of positivity where you can also talk to someone who has gone through this and give them a piece of advice? Actually, yeah, it's actually helped me a lot than it's destroyed me because after I went through that, that side, like in China, that is, after I went through what happened, once I came here and I saw all these stories, Sheffy's wife, Yomap's wife and all that stuff, mm -hmm. Zambia still take it for granted. Mm -hmm. Like it's one of those, oh, um, okay, let me use this term clout. Like mm -hmm. it's, it's slang for like fame, wanting mm -hmm. fame. Mm -hmm. Like even serious situations, people just want to use that platform and say, oh, let me just say something negative or something funny. And when people like my comment a lot, oh, I get the clout, I get the fame. Mm -hmm. Forgetting that the person who's going to receive those comments is going to be disturbed, you know? Like you, you wouldn't know what's happening on the other side. But once you're just there saying, oh, I'm free right now. They don't even know where I am. Let me just comment and say whatever I want. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But for me, it's helped me positively because I think I've got three, three friends, and actually one also committed suicide recently. There was a story on Facebook. I don't even know if you saw. There's a friend of mine who committed suicide. She was suffering from the same depression, anxiety, and all because of the cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she committed suicide. But I've got like three other friends. One does poetry and one does music. And every time they upload their stuff, there's always somebody saying, that's trash, it's boring, just quit that stuff and all. Mm -hmm. But me, since I've been affected before, it's mm -hmm. easier for me to like go there and say, bro or sis, listen to this. This is what happened to me and all, but I'm still here happy and you know not giving a damn about mm -hmm. anything yeah not giving a damn about anything so it's 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 easier to explain mm -hmm. or keep somebody comfortable and calm if you've gone through something it's hard to just come out of the blues and say oh i can give you a talk about this when you've never experienced it you know what i mean yeah huh? yeah. yeah like the talk is different so the talks that i give my friend is not me saying oh I'm a guru. Mm -hmm. I can I can give you some sessions right now to mm -hmm. calm your nerves and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But I talk to them as my friends, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think me holding that gift now, I guess, mm -hmm. holding that gift now, I bet if I can help a friend of mine get out of that situation, obviously the chain will continue going on and on and on and on. And when we continue spreading positivity, mm -hmm. Obviously, even the cyber bullies are going to be, you know, lesser in number mm -hmm. yeah. and even probably done, you know. Yeah. Okay, so with, with that said, do you think there is a way that cyberbullying can be stopped without having to like get rid of the internet? Mm, I don't think so. I really doubt it because cyberbullying is basically mm -hmm. electronic bullying. So if you're saying, okay, because um, I think a study shows that I think 33% of youths Mm -hmm. use like social networks yeah. mm -hmm. and then like 80% are like active for like an hour plus mm -hmm. and then I think it's 70% are active for like more than a week and these are studies that are like always mm -hmm. getting improved and all but it's just general mm -hmm. so it's obvious it can't it can't be like cleared out simply because the internet is a very very powerful tool now mm -hmm. like it's building yeah, it and destroying mm -hmm. so it's just you to pick a side you know yeah. Out of curiosity, though, mm -hmm. um, af are you and your girlfriend together? <laughs> if yes, how how did she handle the the comments and whatnot? Because you know it's not easy. Your partner being picked on, yeah, yeah. it's not easy. Was it she also not. affected, or it's just one of those things that you guys just brushed aside? Um. Okay. Firstly, we're not still together after that same situation. There's hope yeah. for you, this. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're not still together after that situation. She tried to help, but apparently, when you're on the Chinese side, you just see and do as Chinese do. 
Mm. So when, yeah, yeah. cause for her, it was easy for her to say, okay, don't care what they say, blah, 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 trying to comfort me. Mm -hmm. But yet her family, even her own family were like, no, you can't go to that guy. If you go to that guy, we're going to disown you and all that. Mm -hmm. I had to be the one to say, I wouldn't want all this to happen, you know, cause that's your family, those are your relatives, your friends and all. So it's better we just, you know, split ways. But she tried, yeah, if I've answered your question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so how was it when you, like, you were taking a walk with your girlfriend and stuff? The people, the looks, the facial expressions and everything. How did you handle that? I was very strong. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very strong. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to have like somebody like you to talk to me, you know? situation with your friends, do you have, like, yeah. do you have friends in China? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chinese people, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, okay, for friends, friends is different because these people are raised in different ways. Mm -hmm. There are people who are raised in, in a way that they don't know blacks at all, but their family members have told them, no, black people are bad, they are monkeys, they stink and all. So that's the impression that they have about black people, even without knowing you. Mm -hmm. And then there are those people who are just authentic and say, oh, bro, we are both human beings. Where do you come from? I'm from Zambia. Oh, wow, Zambia. I want to visit Zambia. Friend, oh, what? Mm -hmm. You talk, you talk, exchange contacts, and it's cool. You're going out together and all that. And I think majority of them in my city, so to say, majority are very positive-minded mm -hmm. when it comes to blacks. I don't know if it's because there's like um, numerous international universities in my city or what, but mm -hmm. yeah, like the, the Chinese in my city are completely positive. Yeah. Now we have this story that you just talked about, the issue of Chef and mm -hmm. his wife, your maps mm -hmm. and his wife. What can you say concerning that? Now this is not, uh, these are not foreigners who are doing the cyber bullying, mm -hmm. but fellow Zambians bullying their fellow Zambians. Mm -hmm. No, like I said before, it's clout chasing yeah. fame, so to say. Chefi is a big artist, mm -hmm. obviously in Zambia. Mm -hmm. And the people who are even commenting negatively are nobodies. Probably they're using free Facebook for that, you know what I mean? You know? So yeah, you wouldn't even oh, have to you wouldn't even have to worry. Because probably probably Sheffy is, is strong in the sense that he hasn't even spoken about it, you know. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, people are saying negative things about what the wife was wearing or the pose or whatsoever. But he's just there like, oh, it will pass. Why? Because he knows they're just fame chasing and it won't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cyberbullying, it won't work. They're yeah, in free mode. And I think the sad part is that the women are even like the ones who are commenting more mm -hmm. on those pictures. Sure, yeah. Sure. We have sure. also seen, you know, Enoch Mwepu just engaged the girlfriend. Yo, that one. And a uh, <laughs> lot of men. <laughs> and then, yeah. you, you, okay. Um, Ah, no, let me not say, but there okay, let me just talk about it. So Enoch Mwepu engaged the same day when Sheffy was having his kitchen party yeah. with the wife. Mm -hmm. uh, is it Dexton from Africa? Dexton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dexton also had his wedding. Mm -hmm. yeah. Enoch Mwepu had his engagement. Mm -hmm. So now, like, the three stories trending on Facebook. Mm -hmm. The one for Sheffy, the one for the Africa guy, and mm -hmm. also for Enoch Mwepu. You know, just talking about the dress that Enoch Mwepu's wife was wearing. No, what, what? Can't you find someone else? She looks older than you and everything. But I think um, from what, uh, who's this one? Is it difficult to be clone? Thomas Palo. Yeah. He said we shouldn't focus on whatever people are saying because mm -hmm. someone has already made a choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's really true. And, 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 and even with find... the ladies that are mostly commenting, you'd find that three quarters are even single. Ah, exactly. They're not even dating. <laughs> no, it's, 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 they are crying for the very same reason. Yeah, and the funny thing is that the funny thing is that of all the three stories, you know. It was a it was a busy weekend. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. three things happened like three major things. Day. Yeah, but then you find that Dark Souls, like I, I actually didn't even know about Dark Souls wedding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, to like days later because the very day you know at, before the the kitchen party was even over, people were already, already posting, posting yeah. photos yeah. of yeah. chef, the wife, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, and everyone was just you know she's not photogenic, she's A B C D, her dress she is looks that. Ugly yes. Okay. So. Is it and that she's pretty? Okay, she's she is beautiful. She is pretty. I'm a lady, but hey, we got to appreciate. <laughs> she oh. is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But you know, you guys, it's just that thing where you have so much hope. Like me, who loves chef. 
and then yeah, your I, social you media crying, only to find I, I, that, I uh, that Shefi has okay truth be told you know? even if you love this artist <laughs> and they don't fall in love with them mm. eh, they've got their mm. eyes on somebody else you oh, think yes, you're yes. the only woman <laughs> they love that attraction people just need <laughs> to leave their frustrations <laughs> in the bedroom yeah we have like, okay. no, don't <laughs> go and air out your neg- negative opinions on other people who are innocent yeah okay. i think okay. jita really like just has to choose one person for an example because i think when when that one person will be singled out mm-hmm. then everyone is going to know that okay, cyber bullying is bad yeah. because we have all these um offices that we can report to and no one is you know taking um taking it up like to go and report mm-hmm. because eh, you know it's just memes you know everyone wants to like look at the meme mm-hmm. and laugh the whole True. day and stuff mm-hmm. like that which shouldn't be the case meme as also should be you know booked yeah not I mean, even the people that keep sharing those memes yeah mm-hmm. they are at fault and you are just sharing yeah i actually wanted to say something concerning what she said mm-hmm. actually zikta made an example of somebody i don't know if you remember that zoom boy the the zoom guy who used to I don't know if it's imitate the, the president and all. Get the president. Yeah, um, Zoom, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I think he's. I don't know if he's still in the chooks or not. But yeah, he was. He was arrested. I don't know how they tracked him and all, but they found him in his room, asked him which phone he was using and all that stuff. And it was funny, you know, because mm. that's the guy who was being pompous on the phone, like, oh, yeah. the president, this and that. But once he got apprehended, it was very, very sad, yeah. you know. I very think sad. we should learn from that. Exactly. We, we should need learn more people to learn from. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> more examples. <laughs> so, okay, in looking at we've got different kinds of people and we've got those that are strong and those that are easily break exactly. and mostly are ladies. Uh somebody like me, mm-hmm. eh? I'm bullied of which yes, sometimes I yeah, mm-hmm. in fact, <laughs> it does happen. I think mm-hmm. we've yeah. all yes. been bullied. Been we, bullied yes. How can you advise somebody like me like I can't even talk to Mwaka if she says something, maybe Palasa Zakamba put to say, na kufuna na it mm-hmm. will hit me even harder, you mm-hmm. get. So how would you advise somebody like me? Like, I'm not strong, but I, I don't want to do anything bad to me that will end up uh, disappointing my parents, for example, or committing suicide and everything. Mm-hmm. Realizing that I have a lot to live for, rather. How would you advise somebody like me? Okay, according to what you've said, I would say watch the surrounding that you have like mm-hmm. or watch the people you keep around you because mm-hmm. if you are around negative energy obviously you are going to adjust that negative energy you know mm-hmm. so if you are weak don't find weak people to surround yourself with find people who are stronger so you can like tap in their energy you know mm-hmm. what I mean huh? yes. tap into their energy and obviously by that I don't mean you come to a um, mocker for example mm-hmm. and say oh mocker I know you're the pretty girl in class, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you guys, you guys. Yeah, I didn't like to use the word. <laughs> yeah, um, and I'm, I'm the shy one. I'm always getting picked on. What do you do, blah, blah, blah. That's not what I mean, no. Okay. But obviously, there's going to be people in class who are mm-hmm. also quiet or mind their own business and blah, 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 but don't get picked on. Mm-hmm. Try, approach them and say, how do you manage to just isolate yourself? Obviously, you're going to generate some sort of friendship from there, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? You don't always have to go to the higher power, so to say, and say, I want to be like her. Let me just approach her, mm-hmm. grow some wings and fly just and yeah. say, oh, tomorrow I'm the pretty girl also, because I'm yeah. chilling with Approaching. the pretty one. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's a pretty girl. So just watch the company girl. that you keep. Okay, beautiful. So it's about being surrounded uh, with the positive people, exactly. positive energy. Exactly. Okay, beautiful, I love that. So oh, I think we've exhausted the topic enough, but maybe before you go, can you like, um, how can I put this? Like what advice do you have for someone who's watching at home, who's going through cyberbullying, or someone who's being affected by the cyberbullying? Um, okay, the word of advice I have, or the words of advice I have for the cyberbullies are, Firstly, pray. Pray about it. That's one. If you don't believe in um, religion, I don't know, meditate. But yeah, pray about it, one. Two, speak to somebody. It doesn't necessarily need to be a therapist or your mother or whatever, but just speak to somebody. And three, don't isolate yourself. Because if you isolate yourself, you're just causing confusion in your head, and that's why 
sadly, people end up committing suicide. So once you just follow the three things, pray or meditate, um, speak to somebody about it, mm -hmm. and don't isolate yourself, then obviously something is going to work out fine. Yeah. Don't isolate yourself, pray about it. Okay. <laughs> okay, these are the words that I love. Pray about it. We went to church, you talk to someone about it. Yes, so I love the fact that he's mentioned uh, the aspect of prayer. Prayer is very important because it aligns you to God who is the creator, the source of all energy. Mm -hmm. So uh, we take a break and then catch us on the other side with the trending stories. Welcome back to our show. Now, before the break, we had a very interesting guest by the name of Sandy, and he shared more light on cyberbullying. So right now, we'll be talking about trending stories. And on our trending stories, we have two very interesting trending stories. Mm -hmm. One, Mark II was awarded a scholarship at Eden University. Mm -hmm. And the other one, on, on a rather sad note, um, Youths in um, Baoleni compound are abusing drugs, dropping out, of, uh, dropping out of school and, you know, just making themselves utter useless because of the drugs. So, mm -hmm. Chivesa, shed more light. It's, it's really sad mm -hmm. because we are saying we want the government to help us. The government doesn't pay much attention to the youths, but there we are drinking, you know, abusing drugs and everything. Therefore, we'll be useless. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, maybe our rock star can say something about this Actually, one. it's just a question to, mm -hmm. you know, the three of you guys, or mm -hmm. me inclusive. Mm -hmm. Can you maybe just, you know, highlight why... Why our youths are, you know, turning to drugs now? What's causing them to, like, shun away from school and, you know, focus more on drugs? What, what's causing that? I think there, there are a lot of reasons why people tend to drink and whatnot. Um, one of them is depression. You yeah. find that you're going through a situation and you have no one to talk to and you think, okay, maybe if I do marijuana, maybe if I drink... I forget about my, my problems. Mm -hmm. But while doing that, you don't realize that you're slowly becoming an addict. Mm -hmm. So you now become addicted and you can't live with it. You tend to like abuse drugs even more than the time you were starting. Mm -hmm. So depression is like one of the reasons why people are using misusing drugs. Okay, I would say peer pressure. Though peer pressure is not pressure to me, because yeah, I just like feel like that's just an excuse. Yeah, because I yeah, feel no one conducts a class and says, "Can I teach you how to drink?" It could be because they have been bullied around with the people that found with. They would mm -hmm. say, "If you don't drink, nishindwe cheke mbovo." So because of that bullying, you'd find someone starts to indulge in. Um, uh, abusing drugs mm. because they are being bullied around. They are being taught to say you are not man enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So finding yourself in such a situation, yeah, you would start abusing drugs because you try. The next time they will tell you you are a drunkard. Mm. Last time. So that too can be one of the causes. Mm. Okay. The, um I really don't have a cause, like, personally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't because you say depression. I don't think that's an excuse. Peer pressure, I don't think that's an excuse. Uh, from the story itself, it's saying even students that are dropping out yeah. of school, of which I remember the time I was in secondary level, rather in school, that we were being taught mm -hmm. if you abuse drugs like that this and this will happen depression we've got guidance teachers rather we've got people that can guide us if at all we're feeling that low we've got people that can talk to us if we are depressed it's a matter of us deciding whom am i going to open up to who am i going to talk to that's not an excuse for me it's yeah. not at the end of the day it's your decision it's mm -hmm. my decision uh, like uh, an example just put it to say hey not everybody became successful or rather became that normal human being you get can't you just wait before you make a decision wait okay this person that is doing drugs or rather Drinking so much alcohol and mm -hmm. stuff, I sell it at once. Life here can end up once and all. Mm -hmm. What is he getting out of that at the end of the day? Nothing. 
when I check at this side, okay, were you healthy and everything of which even the, he or she might find himself uh, Muli in a good opportunity like that. Good opportunities come to say if you, you behave, good character, because again, drugs, they change your character. From positive, you go negative. Like all the time with you, your life will always be negative. I think at the end of the day, it's somebody's choice. Yeah, it's a true. decision. It is somebody's choice and decision. Also, uh, I think um, our youths, rather, we need to like um, find role models, people that mm -hmm. you know would look up to and say, "I want to be like that person I see on TV." Mm -hmm. You get it's just it's just so unfortunate that. Um, we just have wrong people as um, role, role models. models. Mm -hmm. Okay, of so course. here's someone who who listens to Bob Marley or not the Bob Marley. The, the, the the wrong with him. Yeah. You know, it's just that you know w when people say Bob Marley, they associate him with dreads, marijuana. marijuana. You know, smoking and stuff like mm -hmm. that. You know, and here's someone that you know wants to venture maybe into music, and then they say, okay, I'm looking up to um, Bob oh. Marley. They'll um they'll forget all the positive attributes of Bob Marley and mm -hmm. just for like focus on the appearances. What did Bob Marley used to do? Mm -hmm. He smoked. He did A B C D. You know, so they just go to you know the the the, the wrong parts of you know the mm -hmm. the aspect of you know their role models. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think if 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 we de if we decide and you know like know who we really want to be in life what we want to achieve like she said at the end of the day it's also going to help someone to overcome peer pressure and also depression of course. yeah it's all about you it's all about your mindset it's all about what you want at the True. end of the day mm -hmm. how is it benefiting you does it help you are you being a productive youth at the end of the day mm -hmm. you are the future leader you are the zambian youth and without you zambia is not gonna go anywhere yep yeah so you gotta turn down those drugs like right now i see i i i, I also it's, it's easy to say you got to do this you got to do this yeah. but i feel like when you start, it's really difficult for you to like get out of the situation. True. It takes time. It's not something that's just like going to happen overnight. Overnight. Yeah. Some it's people a it's, slow process. Yeah, it's, 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 a yeah, it's, it's a slow process, but eventually you do it tends it. to be a success. It yeah. might not be something that will happen mm -hmm. in a year or two years' time, but mm -hmm. as yeah, time goes by. The most important part is your decision. If you decide I want to change, it's a process. Mm. Slowly at the end of the day you get there. Yeah. I think it's even a good thing that Mac Chu was uh, given that scholarship. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think a lot of young people look up to him and say, okay, you know what, he's a musician, you know, and he's, and, and he's in school, so, you know, if I want to be as great as Mac Chu, King Booga, you know, I'll just have to stick to my books, and then later on, you know, do something great for myself. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think it was also a good cause that he was awarded the scholarship though some people are coming out to be all negative you know anyway in the absence of negativity we can't know positivity True. so people are saying no he shouldn't have been awarded the scholarship because he's rich it's like adding dollars on top of dollars and the rich will become richer, richer and, and the poor, poor are becoming then, more at poor. the end of the day i don't know if you guys have noticed but whenever someone is being like made an ambassador mm -hmm. of something they always want to pick someone who's a prominent figure of society because, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. because they know that okay if we get such a person they will have these results yeah mm -hmm. so if they awarded that uh, if they gave the the, the, the his title to like somebody else who's not a prominent figure like, they give it like to myself mm -hmm. nobody's no going to care yeah. <laughs> you see so it's, yeah. it's making news because here is someone who's just known to be singing all the time yeah. mm -hmm. and like now they've taken another road to education, education. So I, yeah yeah and and the thing that you know he's studying now is totally different like it's business. parallel to what he does for a living yeah. you get yeah. like he's doing what business, business. business. administration business. yeah was it business yeah, yeah. yeah. something to remember, do with business and then he's like a musician and, mm -hmm. and i think it's also encouraging again looking at his fellow musicians because mm -hmm. we've got at other musicians they just focused on music 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 and they think they can't do anything and they don't want to do anything apart from music yeah. but if at all you do something else apart from music you might end up being the richer yeah. yourself uh, as well uh, yeah. i was also to impressed. 99 jobs i was also impressed with what's this guy's name um Sandy. steve -o. 
Steve, um, he's 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 a musician. Don't talk about Sandy. So Why are you guys so obsessed with Sandy? <laughs> <laughs> <Okay, laughs> we need to refer to him. <laughs> no, we are going to have Sandy next. No, ne- next on the on on our next show, so you guys can get enough of him. Yeah, please. So, <laughs> so I was talking about Steve. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys know the musician yeah, Steve. I was really surprised. Like, you guys, I was shocked. He's he's an accountant somewhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In a bank. Yeah. Just, and I'm just like what like. Yeah, he was oh, okay, that's, You know, so I think, you know, and then if you listen to the kind of music that, that he, he, does. he does, you know, this is music for in the bar. Pa, yeah, you know, like, accounting. you see, <laughs> and then this also goes to our youth in Baoleni. You know, maybe mm. they just see his mm-hmm. his club side. Mm-hmm. They, they never take time to, like, you know, know their, their real model or, or yeah, yeah, like, fully and deeper I get. Mm-hmm. So, you know, whoever we decide to look up to, you know, let's look at the pros and the cons, mm-hmm. you know, weigh, weigh them, and then, you know, from there, I think we'll, we'll definitely help ourselves. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's my heart. True. My heart goes out to all the you know youths in Berlin, you guys. Mm-hmm. And my <laughs> advice to them, my advice to them, if at all, like I loved the example you gave about Bob Marley. I'm actually a fan, but you never find me smoking. We don't know. Sure? We don't you, know. Mm-hmm. Have we ever seen? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, I've got dreads. Yes, I've got dreads, dreads but the removable and everything. Uh, Look for the message, the message he, he sang, he preached. No through. woman, no cry. No cry. Not, not the, is it? Oh. There is redemption. <laughs> Example, there's this okay. re- redemption song. It's, talk, it's redemption, mm-hmm. guys. When you want to look up, uh, up to somebody like Bob Marley, first, mm-hmm. before you look at the marijuana and everything, mm-hmm. look at his family side yeah. the positive side of him because he was a fighter yeah. he never gave up he focused on the positive side and he preached love he preached the uh, freedom. Oneness, freedom he preached oneness yeah. going oh, back to so that you guys about i love money. just like i am so passionate about chefy let's talk about chefy of no, course no we're not going to talk about chefy the, the, the there's even uh, she you are saying focusing on the guys or the, the youths in Baoleni with the smoking and drugs and everything going back to Lucky Dube Lucky Dube yes he was but the message the life he led and everything there is Morgan heritage and every those people were just cool and they were positive at all times mm-hmm. I don't I don't think these guys they even dropped out from school. I don't think so because these people were so educated. Mm -hmm. They were even rich, rich, rich. They were making money, preaching oneness, preaching love. Mm -hmm. I think it's high time we just yeah, and positivity and make Zambia the better Zambia, the great Zambia that we want to see, that we want to make, Mm -hmm. because we are the leaders already. Yeah. Yeah. And it's then there's, the there's this saying that, you know, most, um, a lot of people like, you know, um, say, mm-hmm. where someone goes, you know, education is not the only key to success, mm-hmm. you get. Mm-hmm. It is true to yes. some extent, but then, you know, you look at someone who's saying education is not the only key to success, look at Dangote, look at ABCD, you know, this is someone that can't read, someone that can't do anything, and then I'm just like, wow, Dangote can read. Dangote can, you know, account for his money. Yeah. What are you doing about it? Yes, education is not the only key to success, but what are you doing to like a- attain that Better success? Life, yeah. See? Mm-hmm. So but I think we misquote this word education. Yeah. When somebody talks about education, they think in Chabe. Right now what we are doing, we're educating one another. Educa- yes, true. It's about you listening to what the other is telling and, you you know welcoming it, it. Exactly. the bad part is we don't want to welcome what other people have to say Point. we just want to be so stagnant on what we know like i, I already know i know this mm-hmm. you can tell me nothing i already know i know what i'm doing you are not my relative you're not in charge of my life i mm-hmm. think that's that's where negativity is mm-hmm. you've never been through my situation so yeah. you don't know what i'm going through mm-hmm. why should we exalt situations yeah, so much like i don't have to be in your place to know you know to advise exactly. you exactly exactly okay. catch us on the other side uh with the entertainment segment as we are going to take through some dance moves with sandy i'm already because i lost some fat you guys we did them on my day <laughs> and so now so we're tired. ready for dances <laughs> so please catch us with the entertainment segment <laughs> Yeah. 
Three, four, one, two, three, four. So we go one, two, three, four. Okay, the left one, we're not finishing all four. So let's go one, two, three. This side. So we go one, two, four. We just face the front. And then immediately we face the front, we go one, hit your knee with your right hand. So we go one, two, that's twice. So you reach here and then you go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The three, three, four. Boom. Again. Three hours you love. She play my ballet, ballet. Pull up side and side and get it. Pull up the piece of my head. I exercise. Uh, they made me dance. Oh, I just danced yeah, <laughs> on my own. <laughs> like not right they they like At least I, I learned something. Okay, I, I only learned my freestyle. <laughs> my freestyle. <laughs> yeah, so it was really interesting. And it, 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 it's so warm. Like there's such a warm atmosphere here. And it's so good to watch them dance. So you should come and join them if you want to learn how to do some. But I'm really tired. I'm really tired right now. It's cute. Even if you get tired at the end of the day, you benefit from it. From me, Chivesa N. And Evelyn Tembo. It's a good goodbye. Bye. And goodbye.